Namaskar. Namaste. Happy White Magnetic Wizard Day. We all start off with a conscious breath. Connect to the timeless and eternal moment. You take Vishnu Mudra with your right hand, folding in the first two fingers. Close off right nostril. Exhale through the left. Deep inhale through the left. Close off the loma down the right. Ladder breath. Release one third of the breath and pause. Two thirds and pause. The full rest of the way. Deep inhale up the right. Close off the loma. Ladder breath down the left. Pausing intermittently with the out breath. Release one third and pause. Two thirds and pause. Full rest of the way. With a complete inhale of the left. Keep Nadi showing up. Alternate nostril breathing and sync with the lung on exhale for the next minute. Hold it in, Jalandara, chin lock, chin to the chest, lifting shoulders towards the ears. Hold it in for a count of 20.
Dakshate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 To the presence of the one divine spirit that dwells within we bow. Nice. Rise. Just standing at the front of the mat. Center, squeezing inner thighs together, belly in, booty on it, scoop tailbone, hold mudra bandha, shoulders up and back, slide jawbone back, activate ujjayi breath, breathing from the back of the throat, more focus. Deep breath in, exhale, root down to the legs, inhale, stretch up, exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lengthen and curl, exhale, step back to plank, hold plank. Fingers wide, lean forward, belly up and in. Scoop tailbone under. In slow motion, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, rise up for Habhujangasana, resting hips down on the first one. And shoulders up, curl them back, pulling hands back. Sweep heart forward and up. Stay there for a few deep breaths. Tops the feet, pushing down. Hands pulling back towards the hips. And then lower down, push back, on the Shwanasana, downward facing dog. First dog, stretch it out, bend one knee at a time, lift through calf muscles. Stretch it out. Right leg up to the ceiling, bend the knee. Twist and open up the hip, stretch out side body. Stretch out in breath, out breath, consciously lengthening the space between the breaths. Switch legs. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, rise up for a half Bhujanga or a Furka Mukha, pausing at the peak as you curl. And flow back. Right foot up, Adamukha Anjani. Right foot for a deep lunge. Step right foot up to the front of the mat. Point foot out to the left. Back foot flat. Take hands out to the right. Bow to the heart, wide hips back and apart, pushing top of the left thigh bone back. Hips widening back, top of the left thigh is engaged, quadriceps are lifting, pushing back. And step back, plank pose, stick with Benny, exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, flow back. Second side, left foot up for a deep lunge. Left foot to the front of the mat, back foot flat, right heel down and in, take hands off to the side. Right, hips back, keep left knee bending deep, leaning to the left, top of the right thigh bone, pushing back. And then step back, plank pose. Vinyasa, exhale, lower down, inhale, rise up, exhale, flow back. Take down dog into a twist, right hand back to the outside of the left leg. Push 
look from the top of the shoulder out through the hand as you duck the head and twist. Switch arms, switch legs. Down dog. Turbo dog. Bend elbows towards the floor. Hold it. Squeeze arms in. Upper back in. Embrace the present moment. Pushing head up. Curl in the upper back. Slide through. Heart leads the way. Take a vinyasa. Cobra up dog. Exhale. Float back. Hold down dog. Five deep victorious breaths. Thighs and hips lifting to the back of the room as you extend energy from the tops of the shoulders out through your hands. Keeping arms and shoulders lifting and outer rotating. Bend knees, gaze up, step or jump. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Last hands behind the back for Karmasana. Action pose. Squeeze arms in, upper back in. Take it overhead. Thigh muscles lifting, thigh bones widening apart by pushing down through your big toes. Big toes squeezing in, heels pushing down and apart so there's an inner spiral traveling up the legs, widening thigh bones apart, hip bones apart, sitting bones apart. And then work Parvrita. Bend your right knee. Rest your right shoulder on your right knee, pulling left arm back, left shoulder back. And then switch, bend left leg, straight and right. Rest your left shoulder down, pulling right arm back, right shoulder back. Back to center, both hands to the hips, squeeze shoulder blades on the back. Inner thighs together, inhale, rise up, lift up out of the hips and curl. Exhale, release on the steep knee. Pause in, turn back within. Next into the breath. The timeless, eternal moment. Deep breath in. Exhale, root down to the legs, releasing hands. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lengthen and curl. Exhale, step or jump back to plank, and then flow through. Exhale down, inhale, rise up and pause. Exhale, float back. Right foot up, side angle pose. Parts back, Manasana. Right foot up, back foot flat. Snag a block if you need it, placing it on the outside. You go longer here and we'll go that left foot back. And right knee deep, right thigh bone parallel with the floor, pushing left thigh bone back, rooting through the back leg as you reach through left hand. Do strong breaths. So much under four. Top hand down to the corner of the mat. Back heel up. Point foot out to the right. And then sweep right arm overhead. Keeping arm bone beside the cheekbones. Palm face down. Keep your big toes pushing down. Back heel can angle out to the side behind you to the left. And then step back. Down dog. Turbo dog. Thin elbows. Squeeze into the center. Engaging your arms up your back. Push your head up. Curl on the upper back, slide through, take a vinyasa. Second side, Parsva Kon Asana. Left foot up, back foot flat. We'll go that right foot back a little bit. There you go. And left knee deep. Push it out to the side towards your bicep. Keep it aligned with the outer edge of the foot. Right thigh bone rooting back, clamping down through the outer edge of your right foot. Top hand down, back heel low. So much chandra. Point foot out to the left. Sweep left arm overhead. Back leg straight and strong. Right thigh lifting, back heel angling to the right. As the left knee angles to the left, you keep your left big toe pushing down the whole foundation. And then step back, down dog. Turbo dog to fire it up. Good to get you stronger. 
faster. Push your head up. Slide through. Take a vinyasa. Flip back. Bend knees. Gaze up. Step or jump. Inhale, lengthen and curl. Exhale, bow. Squat deep, Ukatasana. Take it overhead. Pulling arms back, shoulders back. Squeeze belly in, rib cage in. Deep breath in. Exhale, twist to the right, hooking left elbow across. Push down through hands. Twist from the heart space, and then you can separate hands and reach for the floor if you're going further, reaching right hand to the ceiling and down a mudra. Inhale back overhead to center. Exhale, twist opposite side. Twist from the heart space and then separate if you're going further. Stay with the breath, keep it full and deep. Conscious breath that creates the meditative awareness. Inhale back to center. Exhale, dive up and over. Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, jump up or step back. Take a vinyasa. Right leg lifts behind you. Flex the foot, squeeze leg muscles in, lean forward into plank. Don't let your shoulders break parallel with the elbows, halfway down and pause. Push back strong, right foot up, Virabhadrasana. Square off hips, back heel up, belly in, scoop tailbone, take it overhead. Five strong press. Inhale, make it magnetic, drawn to the center, squeezing legs together. Exhale from the center, push leg bones apart, hips forward and down, take it deeper. Inhale, drawing in from the periphery to the core. From the core, extending energy back out. One more strong breath. Exhale, release. Step back to plank. Take a vinyasa. Left leg lifts. Plank. Chiyanga, push back strong, left foot up, Virabhadra, Udiana, Mulabandha, belly in, scoop tailbone, take it overhead, inhale, draw energy up and in, rooting down to the feet, scissor into the center, from the center, extend energy out, pushing through back heel, bending left knee deep, hips forward and down, keep them level and low, draw in with more strength on the in breath, but don't let your hips lift. The exhale, the hips can go lower, go deeper. So each out breath takes you further. One more strong one. Exhale, release, step back to plank. Take a vinyasa. Right leg lifts. Plank pose. Triyanga. Push back strong, right foot up, Virabhadra, same thing, square it off. Belly in, scoop tailbone, take it overhead. Two strong conscious breaths. Deep breath in. Exhale, twist, take left elbow across, hands in prayer. Push down through hands, twist from the heart space, and then you can reach for the floor. You can find if it's available. Reaching left hand to the floor, right arm behind the back. Doesn't matter how far you take the outer body. It's the alignment of the inner body that matters most. The union of mind, breath, and spirit. Inhale and wind. Step back. Take a vinyasa. While being fully present in the here and the now. We're fully present in the moment. There's nothing that we can't achieve or overcome. Left leg lifts. Lean forward into plank. 
Lower halfway down. Push back strong. The foot up. Your padre. Kick overhead. Building strength and vigor for the practice. Build positivity. To seek enchantment through all of our actions. Breath in, exhale, twist, elbow across, push down through hands, twist from heart space. You can separate, wrap and bind if it's available. Same conscious breath, keep it full and deep. Inhale, and one, step back, take a vinny, flow through. Transition mindfully with the breath, feel free to work all to the hands, this fingertip, bridge top. Vayu vinyasa. Right knee to the right elbow. Exhale to the left elbow. Take it back one more time to the right arm. To the left, take it into Kundinya 1, lean forward, bending the arms, lower halfway down like you're doing a push-up or lift the feet up, take flight, hold it five breaths, optional switch into Kundinya 2, bringing top knee over bottom knee, sliding bottom leg out, and then step or float back into Chaturanga. Second side, Vayu Vinny, two times. Left knee to the left arm, exhale across. One for the magnetic tone. Two, because we're guided, our own power double. Take it across, lean forward. <clears throat> Pulling toes back towards the face. Hold it. Go for the switch. Chaturanga Dandasana. Janga or Vamuka, Adamuka, right foot to the front of the mat and pause. Both hands to the top of the thigh. Connect to the breath, to the here and the now. Embrace the present moment fully, bowing to the heart, squeeze legs together strong, clasp hands behind the back, the shoulders up, side bodies long. Lift the rib cage up and then curl shoulders back, slide jawbone back, squeeze arms all the way in. Push through back heel, bend right knee deep, lift your forward heel if you're going further. Back foot flat for your samba. Get over ahead, humble warrior. Surrendering thought. Ekapada Kundinya 2. Optional transition into Ganda Barandasana. Keep left elbow wide if you don't need it. Right foot slides out to the side. Take it up. Hold it five breaths. In a rotating right leg. Left heel reaches for the ceiling. Pivoting onto the chin. Taking both legs all the way up if it's available. Squeezing legs together at the peak. And then bend the legs and pump the upper back. Taking chest down. Second side, left foot up and pause, neck into breath. Magnetic wizard, we are guided by our own power double. Bow into your heart, embrace your inner strengths. Draw in with more strength in the legs, clasp hands behind the back. Side bodies long, shoulders up, grow tall, slide back. Squeeze in, push through back heel, bend forward leg, lifting forward heel, if you're going deeper. Beer stomach, back foot flat, take it overhead. Uncle 
warrior pose. There's great strength and humility. Ekapada Kundinya too. Those who know say nothing. Those who think they know will say everything. Take it up. <clears throat> Find the balance between self-effort and surrender. Yoga teaches us to conserve our energies, to only speak what is necessary. Right foot up, bound side angle, bada parsva, kon asana. Right arm under, left arm behind the back. Going for the clasp. Hold the clasp out of the heart, bada trikona. Straight and right leg, re-scoop tailbone, outer rotate right leg as you take your head back, lean back. Bend forward leg, step it up, Bada Ekapada Uttana, straighten both legs and twist. The front of the mat, pushing thigh bones back. Straighten right leg all the way. And then shift to the left, pick up bound leg, Svarga Divija Sana, Bird of Paradise. If you lose the clasp, just cup the heel of the right hand. When you have balance, finding your drishti, your gazing point, you can bow to the heart and straighten right leg all the way. And then strengthen core, re scoop tailbone, pushing out through the heel. Slowly take it back down when you're ready. Bada Arda Chandra, take your time for bound half moon. If you lose the clasp, half moon, take your right hand to the floor. As soon as the leg lifts, outer rotate the leg and hip, flexing pinky toe up. It reaches parallel, straight and right leg all the way. Both hands down, standing split, over prasarita, kapada. Om Aramukha Vriksha. Penchamayar, optional kick the handstand or forearm stand, or just step back and take a vinyasa. If you're kicking the handstand, release self-effort, surrender fully first, releasing tension in the head and the neck, looking towards your kicking foot, and then take it up. Second side. Bottom part is back, but that's not. Left it up. Left arm under, right arm behind the back. Chikona. Straight and leg, re scoop tailbone and twist. Hold the clasp. Bend forward leg, step it up. Bada Ekapada Utana. Straight both legs, push thigh bones back. Shift to the right, pick up bound leg, take your time, stay with the breath, don't hold it. Pick it up, relocate your gazing point, and then bowing forward, straighten leg all the way, inner rotating. Uddiyana Mula Bandha, outer rotate as you extend energy from the core, 
out through the heels. And then slowly back down. Take your time. Bada Arda Chandra. If you lose the clasp, just take hand to the floor. Flexing foot. Out rotating as soon as it lifts. Pinky toe lifts. Keeping left leg slightly bent until right leg reaches parallel. And then straighten left leg all the way. Kripa Prasrita Kapata. Standing split. Out rotate right hip with the right leg high. Kick it up towards a handstand, kick back into plank, take a vinyasa. If you kick up, relax your head and neck, release self-effort, open to grace, and then let grace carry you up into handstand. Left foot up for Darren, right foot up for Victor. Move it off to the side. Reach your arms straight ahead, like in a wide leg down dog first. Angling toes in, heels out. Tops of thighs inner rotate. Keeping your right arm reaching straight ahead, take your left arm under, hook your right big toe. Left arm under. And then push down strong to the right foot. Shift your hips to the left an inch or two so the hips are level, squared off. Hold it there. If you're going further, right hand can wiggle across towards your left foot. Inhale and twist. Switch. Left arm reaches. Right arm under. down strong to the left foot, shift hips to the right, drawing energy up the right leg and then wiggle the left hand across. Inhale, unwind, back to center. Go wider, go deeper, play your edge. Walk hands back, forehead to the floor, forearms to the floor, or chin to the floor, clasping underneath or E position. When you reach your edge, create a strong engagement, pressing down to the feet, keep leg muscles actively squeezing in, drawing up towards your hips. And then slowly heel toe into the front of the mat for Malasana. Make it into a deep squat first. You can support the backs of the heels with a block, a blanket, or a yoga wedge if you're in the know. And then reach your hands back behind you. You can cup your heels or have palms face up. Pull your head down, your chest down. Let your hips get heavy and sink down. Releasing tension in the lower back. And then get set for baka. Take hands forward underneath you. Keep elbows wide, knees wide, lean forward, and then squeeze in, lift and hold it. Five or ten breaths, and then an optional transition into Shirshasana 2. Hold that, five or ten breaths. When you're ready, vinyasa into child's pose. If you're taking it into tripod headstand, you can lower back into crow pose, or you can twist into side crow, go back up and do side crow on opposite side. Ooh, loosey side crow. It's hard. Buff fist. <laughs> you gotta even yourself out now. Nice. Nice 
back, reconnecting to the here and the now. Yoga takes us out of our ego-centered awareness, front brain awareness. We're focused on what time it is, the problems that we have to solve. Yoga takes us into the witness, to the back of the brain, where we get out of space and time. Time expands, the moment expands. fully present with the witness. You can rest here or take it into puppy pose, Utana Shisho Sana, take your knees wide. Palms face up so you don't stress the tops of the shoulders. Relaxing an upper back. Stay here, resting. Other styles of yoga, we'll teach that the thighs have to be per perpendicular with the floor here. It's not necessary. What's necessary is that you're relaxed and that you can let your upper back open and release, allowing shoulders to open and release. back, child's pose. And let's go to the wall. Mm. Handstand meditation. Mm. Best part of your day. <clears throat> Magic number today. Magic number is one, but you're guided by two, <laughs> so we're going to do two one-minute holds. Why don't you slide a little closer to the altar, too? A little more. Help the moss. You're tall. Your feet will get cut off. Here we go. One minute meditation and handstand. When you get set. Take hang loose Hawaii Mudra, measuring pinky finger from your thumb away from the wall, so you're four to five inches away. When you kick up, you're going to take your hips to the wall first, chin to the chest like in Jal and Dara, chin lock. This takes the thigh bones back into the hip sockets, takes arm bones into the shoulder sockets. I'll get the timer. Nobody comes down. One minute. Here we go. <clears throat> Going up in five, four, three, two, one. Take it up. Hips back, chin to the chest, gazing up towards your toes, flexing feet back towards your face. Darren, you can walk your hands in a little bit. Or just hold it there. That's fine. Thirty seconds transition. Take your head to the wall. Scoop your tailbone up. Point your feet. Curl in the upper back, attempting to take your forehead to the wall. If your head width reaches the wall, then you can point your feet and take your feet away. You can either have your hips or your head on the wall at one time, but not both at the same time. Ten more seconds. Hold on. Oh, go back up. Go back up. Go back up. Oh, one minute perfect for Vic. Oh, very good, Darren. You're a couple seconds shy, but we'll let you slide, man. That's good. <laughs> one minute rest. Handstand meditation is the most powerful platform to meditate in because you're directly assaulted with the thoughts of your lower self. Like, I can't do this. I can't hold on. I can't relax here. I can't breathe here. This is difficult. 
It's too hard. My wrists hurt. My arms are pumped. But the longer you stay up, the more you can relax. Eventually the discomfort goes away. And you can make it a meditation where you're fully focused in the moment with the breath. Offering all thoughts to the fire of the practice. Get set for round two. One more minute of your best effort. Seeking enchantment right now. Going up in five, four, three, two, one. Take it up. <clears throat> Stay with the breath. Offering all thoughts to the fire that you're building, the tapas, the inner heat. Stay with the breath. When the pose gets challenging, strengthen the breath. Make it deeper. Make it louder. It's 30 seconds. Hold on. Hold on. Go back up when you're ready, Vic. you got 20 more seconds. Come on, Darren. Looking good, looking good. Five. You can stay up if you want to. Three, two, one. It's one for Darren. And that's one for Vic. Very good, very good. Rest. years to do a one minute handstand. It took me three more years to do a three minute handstand. It took me three more years after that to do a seven minute handstand. Get set for four, I'm saying. The longer you keep doing the practice, longer you can stay up, expanding time, expanding your meditative capacity. Forearm stand, it's even harder to meditate in. Arms are bent, which forces you to use more of your arm strength and your back body strength. You can use a block if you need to with palms face up or palms face down. One foot on the wall if you need it in an L shape or coming close to the wall if you need both feet there. Going up in five, four, three, two, one. Take it up. If you don't need the wall, you can tap it, taking both feet away. Watch the breath. Let the box pass.
set for round two. Set hands, lift knees. Walk it in. Going up in five, four, three, two, one. Take it up. One more minute, your best effort. Making it a meditation. seconds. Forty seconds. Rest gentlemen twenty seconds and then go back up. Go back up twenty more seconds. Last burn, last burn. Finish off that minute. Stand two minutes. If you're skipping headstand, you can revisit handstand or forearm stand, or just take your hips against the wall, throw your legs at the wall for dip to karate. It's not an option for you two guys. Get set. That's one minute rest. Take it up. Headstand. Hold it one minute. Legs straight, squeezing into the center. Midline, big toes squeezing in. Heels have an inch or two apart, so thighs roll in, belly squeezes in. Tailbone extends energy up through the heels. Push down through the arms evenly. Shoulders lifting away from the ears. Pushing down, keep weight off your head, keep your head light. Like it's just hovering on your mat. It's one minute. You can start to play around for one minute. Stay up there, take legs wide. You can work twisting. Bring one leg in, one leg out. You can work tree pose, padakona.
down, stack this up, resting forehead on stack this. Your neck aligned with your spine. forward a few inches, and then lay on your belly for one or more auspicious pose. Deep, bend both knees up, deepening twist from the lower body. Stretch, mermaid, or full king pigeon. Kick back when you grab the foot and then pull it in. Then foot to the outer edge of the hip. You can hold the quad stretch or slap forearm over for Nus Guinea, mermaid, or use your strap and take it over head for full king pigeon. Bow forward, bending elbows up, or stack this up, turn back within to the inner space, turning your senses within, make it a meditation.
Step back, take a vinyasa. Meditation is one of the best spiritual practices for reducing stress. When you reduce stress, you boost your immune system. Second side. If you don't know how to meditate, there's apps for that. We live in Kali Yuga, the age of technology, the Iron Age. Squared off, lift and curl. There's all kinds of brain, sense, brain sensing headbands that you can use that will teach you how to enter into a meditative state. Back, pull it in. When you're ready, you can release, open forward. intrinsic state of being and when we meditate we can connect to that unity coming back into remembrance strengthening that union we can do that through any activity whether we're gardening whether we're cleaning the house we're doing yoga asana or if we're sitting on a meditation cushion wherever we're focused and concentrated Vinyasa. Ustrasana. Camel pose. Kneeling. Hips back. And then strengthen the core, belly in, scoop tailbone. Shoulders up and curl, palms to the heels, extending hips forward, heart up, out rotating arms and shoulders, let the back of the head get heavy, sliding jawbone back. Manasana. Make your hands forward underneath the shoulders. Slide your knees back two inches behind your hips. And then take right arm up. Deep breath in. Exhale. Twist. Rest shoulders straight down to the center of the mat. Pause. Connect to the breath. Full inhale. Full exhale. And then slide your left knee up towards your right armpit. Cross your right ankle on top. So the knees are offset. And then take left arm overhead on the floor or reach behind the back for the top of your thigh. Left hand can be for balance overhead. If you have balance, go for the clasp between the legs or just pull against anything that's available to deepen the twist. Turn your gaze with that and close the eyes. Each inhale, untwist, expanding inner body. Exhale, deep and twist. <sighs> Sit there and flip that hand palm face up and then take your shoulder all the way down. Inhale slowly and twist. Child's pose. Religio, the root word of religion, means to spiral or to curl within oneself. Because you have a spiritual, religious experience by going within, not by going externally outside of yourself. You don't need to go to church on Easter Sunday. You can do yoga within and go within your own temple. Second side. Left arm up, deep breath in. 
the Yogasana, we align our body, we construct our temple so the light shines in in the most optimal way. So we brighten our inner sanctum, take right knee up, left ankle crosses on top, take the arm behind the back or overhead, deepening twist with the breath, make it a meditation with the breath. Two more deep breaths, deepening twists, attempting to take top shoulder all the way back to the floor, holding Mula Bandha so you don't unroll and fall out of it. Twist, back home, child's pose. Come to sitting, Upa Vishnu Konasana, seated wide angle. your hips on a blanket, a wedge, or a block, whatever you need to, so that you can get legs straight, top of the pelvis tilts forward, pull your toes back, squeeze leg muscles in, arching up, arching lower back, slowly begin to bow forward, building more strength as you go deeper. Deeper, fold forward one more time. We boot the bureau, double arm hero, bending knees up. Arms straight ahead, bring wrist to the outside of the rib cage, palms face out. Slowly squeeze in, releasing jaw, the mouth. Arch up, jaw stretch out, front of the neck. West side stretch. Hashimoto both legs straight. Arch up, pull forward. Hooking big toes or sides of the feet. Pull back on the feet. 
Point shoulders down the back and then sweep your heart forward. Deeper. Parsva or Parvrita Paschimottanasana. Reach left hand across for the outer edge of your right foot. Right hand out to the right, pushing floor away. Or reach overhead and grab outer edge of your left foot. Duck head. Move back on the feet as your feet push forward, accelerating the intensity of the asana. Inhale and twist, switch. Twist, fold forward one more time, going a little deeper. Attempting to clasp the wrist over both feet, or you can use a block over your feet, going against the block. Asana, hands behind you, hands flat, fists or ridge top, lift up and arch. Legs straight, or you can bend the legs in tabletop for prep position if you need to. Lift up, hold it five breaths. Nava, hips down, legs up, holding backs to the legs. Our hands to the floor for stability. You have stability, arms parallel or overhead. Flexing feet, engage your quads, extending energy out through the heels. Arda, halfway. Pointing feet, squeeze legs together tight, the center. Back up. Back down. Rest. Knees to the chest. Give yourself a big hug. Rock around a little side to side. Underneath the knees, lift hips, walk shoulder blades in. Class, or have palms face up, lift for Sachi Bandha. Sure, Bandhas. And then take it up for Urva Dhanurasana, full back then. Hands over our head. Hips up, chest up. You can take hands wider apart and go all the way up. Round 
two, take it up, do some push-ups. On this one, why don't you lift your heels first inside your head, with your feet curling as much as you can before you pull on the end. So right there, lift your heels, and then straighten your arms, take your head towards your feet, and then take your head back to the floor. Just slide it across your mat towards your feet. The head down, head down, head down. Just slide it across the mat towards your feet. There you go. Now walk your hands in. There you go. Do it again. A little bit. Head in, head in. There your hands in a little bit. Now curl your chest towards the wall and roll towards the mat. Like you're going to kiss the mat. Now go up. That's it. Yeah. Every time do it like that. Now do your push ups. Round three is optional from the floor or from standing if you want to get in your drop backs or drop overs. When you're ready, take it into shoulder stand. Ear pressure pose, and knees over ears. Slowly unroll, Matsyasana, fish pose. Unroll, hips down, legs across the floor, arch up, lifting back off the mat, taking your head back. Up, turn the potter, lift legs up, arms up, hold it. You're good. <laughs> Yoga's working. Supta Padangusasana, single leg stretch. Left leg across the floor, right leg up. Clasp. Resist. Arching lower back, shoulders down, lift hard up. Keeping legs straight and strong. Maintaining arch of the spine. Slowly bring it closer, increasing strength as it comes closer towards you, increasing the arch. Keep pulling it in until the legs begin to shake and tremble with excitement. And then take it out to the side. You can hold the outside of the leg, big toe. Strap it, keep left foot flex, toes pulling back, left thigh rolling down. Take it up and over into a twist. Switching hands. Right hand to the rib cage or out to the side. All the way over into the left hip, flexing foot, pulling left leg into the body as you outer rotate, right thigh and hip, rolling them away from you. Back up. Switch legs. Last band resist. Straight, arching. Keep 
legs straight and strong, slowly bring them closer towards the chest. Take it out to the side. to a twist. Baby, reaching for the feet. Right knee down, left knee down. Supta Bhairava, you can release left foot. Take hold of your right foot with both hands, bring foot to the head or behind the head. Switch legs. When you're ready, you can twist to the right. Left hand to the rib cage or out to the side.
arms far overhead. Stretching out. Inhale. Stone. One universal prayer for happiness and freedom for all beings. Take a deep breath in.